Retro Gaming Mania! Seven, I think. I'm not sure. Um, I'll figure it out later. So yeah, episode seven, Craigslist Game Grabs. Um, found something pretty cool on Craigslist, something I don't come across very often. It's something pretty valuable, and it's something that's been going up in price a lot here recently. And uh, I'm not going to tell you what it is and make you wait for it. Uh, but uh, it's something I've been wanting for a while. I'm really happy to be able to get this at a pretty good price. Not an amazing deal, but a um, pretty good price nonetheless. And uh, I guess I'll show you what we get when we get there. And uh, I'll see Alright guys, so I just got to picking up the uh, Craigslist bundle here, and I'm very happy with what I got. And that's in decent shape, it's not in the best shape, but uh, I'm just glad to have it. And I paid $80 for it, and I'll go ahead and show you what we got. We have a TurboGrafx-16, it's got the back cover, it's got the little card slot, that's where you put your controller. And the TurboGrafx actually only has one controller port. And this system was actually released, I believe, is when it was around like 90, 1990 or so. It was released as a competition for the NES and Sega Genesis. And it's actually an 8-bit system with a 16-bit processor. So it's actually capable of, some, capable of some pretty good graphics. Almost Super Nintendo quality, but not quite. Um, it's kind of hard to find these sometimes with the cover on the back. This is actually a cover for the expansion port. And you can actually add the uh, Turbo Graphics CD attachment here. I guess it's called the Turbo CD, I'm not really sure. And uh, that's like, now if you try to get that, whew, that is pricey. I mean, these alone, system only, are selling for about $70 to $80 just for the system. That doesn't include any cables or anything. And I was able to get the system. I got one controller. I don't know if you've ever seen the Turbo Graphics 16 controller, but that's what they look like. Pretty cool, they have these little turbo buttons, slow, medium, fast. And it feels very well made, it's, it doesn't feel flimsy or anything, this is a very high quality controller. It's a little short though, and uh, look at that plug, that sucker is huge. But uh, So I got the system, the controller, and it's hard to find the RF cables for these systems, so it came with a Nintendo RF uh, cable, which works just fine actually. And this system actually only has RF output, unfortunately. Um, now you can get something called the Turbo Booster, but it's very expensive and hard to find, and it basically attaches to the back here, and it lets it have AV out. But I think you can buy like aftermarket ones or some that are kind of newly made for like a lot cheaper. But uh, I'll show you how the system works here in a second. But it came with that. Came with a aftermarket power cable. Um, I believe you can actually use a Sega Genesis Model 1 power cable on these. I believe the uh, power specs and all that are right about the same, and uh, don't quote me on that though. And it came with a pretty good game actually, and it's one I was wanting anyways. And that is Bonk's Adventure. And the games come in these CD cases. And you open it up, and they're actually these little cards. Hot it called Hue Cards, and it's kind of similar to the cards that the Sega Master System used. You know some of the Sega Master System games are real skinny, and they came with these little credit card looking things. Kind of uh, same concept, but this is called a Hue Card. This is Bonk's Adventure. Pretty cool actually. And the way it works is, you would stick it in the system, I don't know if you can see this, just like that. 
push it in until it clicks, and this is your power button. And when you hit the power button, this little lock slides over and it keeps your card from coming out. And uh, when you switch the power button on, you have the little orange you know, paint there so you know the system's on. So it's pretty cool. This game, this is like a 20 to 25 dollar game, I believe. Loose, um, 20 to 25, and I have it here complete. As far as I know, it's complete. Um, comes with the case, the little plastic sleeve, the manual. Let's take a look at the manual real quick. Let's see if I can get it out. Spock's Adventure, pretty much like a PlayStation One manual. Give you the controls. It's kind of what the gameplay looks like. And Bonk was actually the Turbo Graphics. Um, Actually, the system is made by NEC, so that was their Turbo uh, Bonk was Turbo Graphics uh, mascot, kind of like Sega has Sonic and whatnot. So um, here's Bonk enemies. Hope you can see that. And there was actually a sequel to this game called Bonk's Revenge, which I heard is actually better than this one. And it's a little bit more pricey; it's like ten dollars more. So Turbo Graphics 16, one controller, Bonk's Adventure and 80 bucks for everything uh, very happy with that price like I said they sell for 70 to 80 dollars just for the system themselves and they're only going up in price um, this is your RF out switch or port I mean is your channel selector for 3 and 4 you have your power button this is where you plug your controller in you notice there's only one plug uh, for the system so you'd actually have to get something called a let's see if I remember the turbo I don't remember what it's called. Turbo something. It's always turbo something. But basically, um, it's a port, like a multi-tap, and that's the only way you can play multiplayer. It's by getting that turbo multi-tap. Um, and the back, there's really nothing to the back. This cover comes off like I showed earlier. And this is where you actually plug in the power cable. So you plug your cable in, and then it has like a little slot there where you, know, you stick the cable through there and then put the backpack on. And a lot of times these back pieces are missing. Um, they're, I guess they're, the whole system is uncommon, you know, it's not a very common system at all, and it's a very good system, very underrated system, it's got some really good games. I think in the U.S. there was only 94 games released, and uh, Japan, man, this thing did amazing, there's a ton of games released. But um, in Japan it was called the PC Engine, and it was about, it was about that big altogether, like from here over. But, uh, you know, in America we have to have everything big and bulky, so... That's it guys, that is the TurboGrafx-16 system I picked up today, I'm very happy to get it. It's gonna, I'm going to take it home, clean it up, probably take it apart, um, just to cover the plastic and everything, clean everything, get it looking good, put it on my shelf, and, and I may do some uh, gameplay of uh, Bonk's Adventure. And uh, now that I have a TurboGrafx, I can start collecting uh, more games. I want to get a Splatter House, I want to get... Um, What's that game called? Uh, Blood, Blood Wolf or something. There's a Vigilante maybe. I can't remember. There's several games I want to get. I can't remember the names of them right now. But uh, that's it, guys. Very happy with this purchase. And I'm, I'll probably do a gameplay video on it. So This controller, I just can't get over how like solid it feels. This is awesome. Made in Taiwan. Yeah, well. It's got a nice uh, D-pad on it. Select start, A, B. You can see it was kind of taken after the NES as far as the select start and A and B buttons or the one and two buttons, I guess. And it wasn't made to compete with the Super Nintendo. It was made to compete with the Sega Genesis. And graphics-wise, it's about the same as the Sega Genesis, maybe slightly better. Um, but then the Super Nintendo, I think, came out maybe two years later. And between the Super Nintendo and Sega Genesis, nobody really ever, you know, this game, this system was forgotten. And uh, it's really a shame because this is a really good system, probably one of my favorites. I don't even have it, I just now got it and it's already one of my favorites. I've been watching like uh, lots of gameplay on it and everything and it's just, it's got some awesome games. I like the hue cards, you know, it's a, it's a neat idea, it's different than cartridges. But uh, that's it guys, thank you for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe and we'll see you on the next one. See ya.